today I'm going to talk a little bit about color theory with oil paints, um, but this applies to just about anything. So if I mix yellow and red together, I'm going to get orange. Now the more red there is, the it'll be you know more of a like a ready orange. The more yellow, it's going to be more of a yellow orange. Something in the middle. I'm going to get like probably closer to a traditional orange. If I take orange that I've mixed and mix it with just a little bit of, if I mix it with blue, like an equal amount of blue, I'm going to get a brown. Now, if it looks too green, I can add a little bit more red to it so I can go more of like that reddish orange and it's going to kind of tone down to be more of a brown. Any two complementary colors mixed together are going to make a brown. And you can use brown paint when you have it, but you can also always mix it. And mixing paints gives you a lot more interesting tones and it's richer, so you can do a lot more by coming in and mixing. Now I'm going to change my color. I'm wiping off my brush, cleaning it off a little bit. So now I mixed up brown that way, but I'm also going to try just mixing a little bit of green with some red. And I have kind of this is made like a really dark brown with this particular paint. I can always add some white to it. And if it takes on too much of one color, I had it, it was a little bit too red, now it's a little bit too green. And I can come in and I'm going to get to a point where it's going to create a really dark value that could also serve kind of as a brown. I personally think this was looked a little bit more brown with these particular paints, so it all depends on the paints that you're using. So now I'm going to wipe that off, clean my brush. So I mixed here orange and blue to make brown. I mixed here red and green to make brown. Now I'm going to try some purple and yellow. So now I can mix my purple by mixing blue and red. And then if, as I add in my yellow, getting kind of a, another type of brown. And I really kind of like this one with these paints. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty nice brown. And of course, you can play back and forth with this. It also is just kind of a nice dark color, so it's a good way to make a dark color. So remember that you can use your primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, to mix your secondary colors. So I can make green by mixing blue and yellow. I can make orange by mixing yellow and red. And I can make purple by mixing blue and red.